Hello, how's everybody doing today? So I just wanted to make a quick video. I talked to a guy yesterday. He was an evolutionist. And he um, he went to know about abiogenesis. And um, I don't want to confuse you with some really confusing words. But abiogenesis basically means the, um, the beginning of life or organic evolution. Or um, how the first living cell, creature, life, whatever, came into existence. And he said, you know, I don't understand why you're against abiogenesis. And I said, I'm not against I'm not against the research of the creation of life. What I'm against is teaching that in the schools. Um, any any evolutionist, any biologist, anybody that studies life will tell you that we don't know how the first living cell came to about. Nobody knows. There's a lot of theories on it. You have evolutionary theories, you have creationist theories, but nobody really knows. And science talks about things that we know, we can test, we can demonstrate, and you can't do that with biogenesis. You you really can't um, you can't you can't do that. And he said, okay, well you know I kind of understand why you um, you don't want to talk about that. I kind of understand why abiogenesis is not something you would teach in school, but don't you think that scientists should should study abiogenesis. I said, absolutely. I think the scientists should study the creation of life, the beginning of life, extently. I think they should go into great detail trying to figure out how the living organisms came about. But there's a there's a caveat to this. You have to follow where the evidence leads. See, the problem is um, a scientist applies for a grant. Some Some rich bazillionaire will say, here's some money. And 90% of them will say, I want you to find evidence for the creation of this specific animal, plant, whatever. But I want you to do it without the presence of God. I want you to show me how this came about without God. And obviously you can't do that. Um, you can't really talk about any kind of origin. Um, so they have to follow the evidence that leads to what this what this donor wants them to find. If they follow the evidence to whatever happened, they're going to lead to basically um, some type of a uh, creation uh, model, some type of religious model. Because so far, any biologist, any evolutionist, anybody that studies the creation of life will tell you all life looks like it's designed. All life looks like it had um, some type of a creator. But they don't want to. They don't want to talk about stuff like that. So they got to try to figure out an answer without using God. I mean, if you take something as simple as a, a pencil, a pencil is 100% all organic matter, all natural things you can find in nature. And you said, okay, I want you to tell me how this pencil came to be, but you can't use, you can't use man as an example. You can't say that, you know, man created it. You need to find a completely 100% natural way this pencil came about. It's impossible. We all know that it was created. Uh, you can't say, see that building right there. I want you to tell me how that building came about, but I don't want you to say man did it. I don't want you to say it was created or designed. I want you to use a 100% natural reason how what happened in that building. I want you to tell me how that building came about without a creator, without a designer. You can't do that. <clears throat> so all these different um, scientists that study the creation of life have to say, well, you know, we have a lot of theories, we have a lot of ideas, we think this might have happened, we believe this might have happened, but they can't give a definite because everything looks designed. And any kind of evolutionist or scientist that studies any kind of biology will tell you everything looks designed. I mean, you have to think about there's millions of plants that need something to pollinate it, whether it's bees or insects or, you know, whatever. There's some way that it has to pollinate it. And without that pollination, it can't reproduce. There's certain animals that need other organism, organisms or plants to live. And without that other entity, they can't live. There's a lot of symbiotic relationships. Um, you know, symbiotic means that, you know, things need each other to survive. You know, um, and, and everything looks like it had a designer. And if there's a design, if there's a design it built into it, there has to be a designer. And um, I told this guy, I said, you know, I'm 100% for studying 
life, studying biology, studying the creation of the first living organism. But you have to follow where the evidence leads and you have to be honest about it. But if you sit there and tell your rich bazillionaire, you know, I, I studied this, this entity, I studied this piece of life, and um, my conclusion is it, it had a designer, it had a creator. Well, you're not going to get any more grants in the future. So in order to keep the grants coming, you have to give them an answer that makes them happy. These are all these theories that we have. But you really can't you really can't give them the facts because really there is no proof or facts to really any kind of creation. I mean, obviously Christians believe that God created everything, but you can't prove that. Um, scientists believe that there was a puddle, there was all kind of complex chemicals in there, and energy was added to it, and somehow that created the first living organism. But you can't you can't you can't recreate that. And so this guy said, well, what would you, how would you feel if a scientist made life in a lab? And I said, that would be great. I, I think that'd be wonderful. All that would prove is it takes intelligence to make your life. It wouldn't prove it can happen in nature. Um, and um, he didn't really like the answer, you know, but we had this discussion and I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Um, how do you think life came about? How, what do you think... Um, if, if it should be taught in schools, uh, you know, it can't be taught in schools because it's not a fact. It's not science. Science is things we, we know, test, study, can demonstrate. And you can't teach religion in school either because you can't study, test, and demonstrate that as well. Both of them go off of a belief system. And if you teach one, it's only fair to teach the other one. So I don't think it's fair to even teach that in school. But anyways, let me, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.